Thank you, Zagreb. Thank you so much, Zagreb. Thank you. It was a great season. Yes. No. No. Thank you. It was great management from me, wasn't it? Yes. Thank you. A new era is dawn, Zagreb. Actually, let's swing by Dynamo. Rub this in their faces. Oi, Dynamo, look! That's a trophy! At least someone in the city won one this season! Hey guys, it's Villain, and welcome back to Jerun on the Impossible Dream. Today we finished Season 1, our final season, hopefully ever, in the second tier. And uh, it's against Sibonek. And, uh, well, someone in Zagreb won a trophy this year. And it wasn't Dynamo because they only came second in the Croatian top flight. Uh, they didn't win the cup. They were already eliminated. Slaven Balupo actually won the cup and they've been relegated. So that's going to be an interesting schedule for them next season. But, uh, yeah, very, very happy with that. And uh, we do have some news for some contract extensions as well. Obviously, we're trying to build a team now for next season. Now, the first player to sign a new deal is Tin Karamatic. Now, we haven't seen much of him this year, but he signed a two-year deal as a squad player. Um, I feel like he's going to be a useful defensive player. He is vice-captain. Uh, as It hasn't played much this year, but I still think that... I'd rather have him than, than not, I think, in the squad, basically. So 450 a week, this is basically the sort of money we're looking at now. Um, so hopefully, yeah, hopefully he is uh, he's going to be worthwhile. But two years takes him to 33, and I would imagine we could probably move him on if we had to. But uh, yeah, so he's uh, here for uh, two years, so that's one defender that we know is going to be around. And the other player to sign a new deal is Al Ghul. He has finally decided to commit to us uh, 700 pounds a week as an important player. Lots and lots of bonuses there for him as well. I'm not completely convinced by him, which sounds silly having spent so much money on him. But again, I wanted to make sure we do have some players at the club. But what I do like about him is I'm not sure if we're going to be playing two up front like we did this year or if we'll have to go to wingers uh, for next season. And he can kind of cover both. He'd be an inside forward, if anything, because he can't cross. But dribbling and finishing is, is both good. Composure is his biggest issue as a, someone in front of goal. But again, we'd rather have him know he's here than not. And worst case scenario... Again, I imagine that we'd probably be able to sell him on if we got a quarter of a million. I'd, I'd absolutely snap your hand off for it now. But uh, anyway, good news. We've got some more players that we know are going to be around for next season. And uh, that is big because next episode, we have to try and build a, uh, a squad to compete in the top flight. We are going to have our end of season awards and goal of the season competition today as well. Uh, but before any of that, we have to check up on two games that we've had since last episode. The first of those was against the brother. Oh, cool. Volley just into the lead. De Brava pulled level in the second half. But Dashka played in a goal to restore our advantage. So we did enough to win this one. I wouldn't say we did much more than that. Uh, we just about deserved it. Although you can see that, uh, you know, they had more shots on target than what we did. But yeah, it was fine. It was fine. Uh, we started the young midfielder just you know, at this point. You know, we've got nothing to lose. Uh, Karamadic started at the back as well. Again, just trying to play defenders that we know are going to be around for us. And uh, yeah, it was all uh, it was all fairly average, to be honest. Uh, final game was against Doug Yapoli, or whatever you say that. We fell behind midway through the first half. And it was 2-0 after half an hour. Before Pranjic pulled one back late on. So it was our final away game of the season and most of the team decided not to travel apparently. We were absolutely horrid in this one. Uh, defensively, we just sort of were getting picked off a lot. But uh, I mean, finishing one shot on target in 10, it was truly, truly atrocious. So uh, yeah, the less said about the better. And if we go and have a look at the league table... We can see there, we know three, well, we know the automatic relegation uh, teams, Zrinski and Orient and uh, Vukova, surprisingly, perhaps, although their goal difference should keep them safe, you would imagine, will be uh, deciding the final playoff spot. And uh, if we have a quick look at uh, the league leaders, well, there is a three-way tie for the Golden Boot in the league. So let's hope that Pranjic can see that through. Uh, we've got the top three in average match ratings. And again, we've got Babic and Rook. Uh, Vic, uh, Rudakovic even um, right up there for the most assists in the league so we could be on for a very very good uh, 
yeah, very, very good uh, in terms of uh, player performances at the end of season uh, things that they do. But let's go on to what we're doing here. Final game against Sibonik. It's first versus second, so it's a big way to finish the season. And we are expecting a 4-2-3-1 out of them. And the team that we are sending out is our oh, men has got an injury. So we will go with uh, we'll go with Dashka and we'll bring the kid on if we need to. Uh, and that all looks good. Uh, we won't risk Mina. I'm still not convinced if we're going to keep Mina. Or I might, I'll probably just keep him on a non-contract, I think. But anyway, back to focus on what's happening here. Mandic is going in goal. Bikenic, Karamatic, and Purovic is the back four. Uh, Perkovic was injured. Yeah, he's still injured. So he's he's not going to he's not available for this one. His season is over. Uh, Filipovic is going to go down the right. That's of course Huljic is uh, is suspended. And Mikic got called back by Dinamo because we weren't playing him enough. Uh, I like that they actually call them back in this one too. Uh, it hasn't always happened in the past. Radjakovic will go down the left looking for assists. It'll be Dashka, Boskovic and Babic. It could be the last time we see these three in midfield. But oh, what a three they have been for us. Prandic and Agur will be the front two. Uh, Tadic is on the bench. He's still not wanting to negotiate a contract, so we'll see. It could be, uh, it could be that he's off at the end of the year, but um, we've got these two tied in for next year, so that is uh, that's big, I think, for us. All right, so we can see the team sheets here, and I don't recognise too many names in their lineup. I don't believe. Uh, what do we say to this? It's important. Uh, just have some fun. I mean, it's the last day of the season. Everything's already essentially wrapped up, and uh, yeah, we just need to try and. Uh, Put on a show, get some goals for Pranjic, some assists for Babic and or uh, Radjakovic, and uh, yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be okay. Now this starting eleven is more or less all tied in for next year. The two that aren't are Boskovic and uh, and Bisanic. Uh, so the sort of the left sided centre back. Everybody else that's on the field for this one that's starting the game, they do have contracts in place for next season. So that. This will give us an idea of what sort of our base of where we're starting from, which is partly why I selected this team. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say it's fully down to that. Some of what it is down to a coincidence, but I just wanted to have an idea of, of roughly where we do stand against what is essentially the second best team in the league. So the nearest that we have, and of course, newly relegated last year as well. Uh, so it's it's a fairly good measuring stick to see, to see where we're going to stand. Um, the, the issue, of course, is that we have nothing to play for. Not that they particularly do. Actually, Philip, uh, Philip Povich, I don't think, has a contract for next year, does he? No. And we are probably looking to move him on as well. So, yeah. I've had a quick look at, um, at how and where we can strengthen and... It's going to be, it is going to be tough. I think once, once we get out of the season and we can kind of see, uh, you know, who's, whose contract is up from other, from other clubs, um, loans that might or may not be available to us. Uh, I'm really, I really want to sign Boscovic. Um, but I'm also conscious we only have 75 grand to spend. There's a good ball for Radjakovic. Can he get himself an assist? Can he find Pranjic? No, but he can find a goal who has his 17th of the season. Now, I don't know how many of his are in the league and how many of his are in the cup. Um, I suspect he has got some in the cup as well, so he may not be on for the league golden boot, but certainly uh, the club golden boot is now only one goal between Agul and Pranjic. So that could be interesting as uh, as we move forward in this game. But uh, yeah, I mean, we're, oh, I was supposed to say we're doing okay, but here's a free kick to defend and Manjic. Did he save that? What a save from Manjic. Huge stuff. It's first half stoppage time as well. Can we get into the break with our lead? Manjic comes and claims. And uh, yeah, I think unless we can get somebody else in that is significantly better, the fact that he's young, he's got room to improve. My my thought process right now is that we go with him as our number one next year. But I mean, like I say, that could change because you know, we're in a situation where anybody here yeah, could, could be sold if we get good bids for them. Anybody could be replaced because no one is... Uh, particularly that good you know i mean they, they've done very very well to win the league this year when we were forecast to be uh sitting mid-table but um yeah anyway so boscovich he'll go off it could be the last time we see him we'll bring on our young 17 year old but thank you boscovich if that is the last we see of you what a player you have been and one of the biggest if not the biggest part of uh, this promotion season has been him in midfield i think we've had a lot of good players 
but uh, I don't think anybody's been better than Boscovich. Maybe one or two at his level, but yeah, I don't think many have been better, if any. Now, here we go. Pranjic working hard. Let's see if we can win this ball back. Karamadic getting caught out a little bit there, perhaps, and uh, he's let someone get in behind him, and it is 1-1. Sven Sunta gets them level. Let's give them a focus. And, uh, yeah, well, that's not, not really what we wanted to see, is it? Yeah, Peravic got it. He, he got across, but it maybe could have done a little bit more to throw his body in front of it, to be honest. But, yeah, these things happen, I suppose, don't they? Uh, let's not give up, though, boys. There's still, uh, still a little bit to play for here. Now, if they've got inside forwards, let's go with uh, trap them outside. And is there anything in terms of a, a winning goal for us? One last goal of the season. It doesn't look like it. Babic is absolutely destroyed. <laughs> is there somebody we can bring on? Maybe Kuka Vika. Is he on the bench? Yeah, he was quite good for us earlier on in the year. Uh, yeah, he's not one. There's nobody that's really interested in terms of low knees of, uh, of staying. Uh, it might be one of those. Again, they go back to their parent clubs and realize they're not wanted there and maybe... Maybe we start to look a good option, but here we go with Babic. Can he thread one last ball through? No. Dashka should pick that up, though. It was a bit of a nothing pass, really, wasn't it? We've still got about two minutes to go in stoppage time here, but Radjakovic's ball wasn't much better. And there's the ball over the top. Karamadic has been caught out again. And, oh, that's not good. We're going to lose the final game of the season. And in a game where I was hoping to get an idea of where we stack up, against uh, the second best team in the league with the team that might well be starting next season. And the answer to that is uh, not great, apparently. So, yeah, we've got work to do this, this summer transfer window, don't we? So it is a loss on the final day, which is obviously disappointing. But we realistically, we've done our work before this, so we yeah, can't be too disappointed. So that is the final league table. Zrinski will be going into a relegation playoff. Uh, Vukovar have got themselves clear at the end there. And uh, Sibanek end up nine points behind a second in the league. And if we look at the league leaders, Pranjic does win the golden boot, possibly on games played because he didn't play every game for us. And uh, Radjakovic, possibly for the same reason, has, uh, has got most assists. So well done to those guys topping the league in those uh, respective categories. Anyway, guys, wait right there. We will be back momentarily for our end of season awards. And uh, then we'll wrap up season one and look forward into the summer transfer window. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Jeroen end of season awards. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, you're too kind. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, brilliant, isn't it brilliant? Thank you, everybody, and welcome to the Giroud End of Season Awards. What a wonderful season it was. We are a top-flight team for the first time in the club's history, and, uh, well, we'll do very well to stay there, but we'll worry about that next season, won't we? The boys have been brilliant, so, guys, big round of applause. Absolutely, you've done yourselves proud. You probably will be replaced next season, but you've done yourselves proud. So the first award this evening is the Golden Pen for this season signing of the year. And, uh, well, there wasn't a lot of loans, but not many signings. But this guy, high hopes, I've got to say, high hopes. So congratulations, joined on a free transfer from the other team in Zagreb, Ivan Mandic. And that is, of course, the goalkeeper, if you couldn't place the name. Next up, it is the uh, Golden Card for this season's worst disciplined player, and uh, no red cards this year, but this guy did certainly pick up a few yellows, six in total. So congratulations. The golden card goes to Gregor Hulgic. The next award is the golden spoon for the man who feeds the strikers, the player with the most assists. And uh, this guy absolutely brilliant. Didn't play a lot of games either. You know, certainly at the start of the year was not first choice, but uh, earned himself that shirt by the end. So with 11 assists, congratulations to the left winger, or wing back, I should say. Nico, your spoon is falling, mate, but it's uh, Radjakovic. <laughs> Yeah, just leave it out back, Nico. We'll get the spoon reattached properly for you. 
Yeah, no worries, mate. Yeah, it is a bit cheap, isn't it? All right, the next award is the Golden Anchor for the player that we can rely on, the man with the highest average match rating. And uh, this guy, absolutely superb, with an average match rating of 7.3. The winner is... Jakob Prangic. The next award is the Golden Cross, awarded to the player who has missed the most this season through injury. Uh, and 21% of the season this guy missed. We've already seen him up here once tonight. Hopefully his, well, his trophy's injured as well, isn't it? Congratulations. The Golden Cross goes to Niko Radjakovic. The next award is the Golden Soother, awarded to the baby of the team, this season's best young player. And uh, it's one of these, I mean, this guy, I mean, it seems if you're under 30, you qualify for this award. I don't think he quite uh, is young enough for me. But anyway, he's won the net. Congratulations, Jakob Prangic. <laughs> next up, it is the Golden Boot, awarded to the top goal scorer. Big one, this one, isn't it? Everybody loves the Golden Boot winner. And, uh, well, this guy, I hope he hasn't taken his seat. 18 goals, won the award in the league as well, I believe. So congratulations on that as well. But it is, of course, Jakob Prandzic once again. The next award is one that it is so important to the players and uh, to everyone at the club. It is the Viewers Player of the Year Award. Uh, I want to thank everybody who took the time to nominate and, uh, and vote for your uh, preferred nominee. And the inaugural player of the year is... Jakob Prangic. Now, before we get to announcing the player of the year, uh, we do need to take a minute to acknowledge the team of the season. So if you do just direct your eyes up to the board, you will see the goalkeeper is the youngster, Mandic. Our back three is Bekanic, Perkovic, and Purevic. I think I got all those out correctly. Uh, the fullbacks, the wingbacks are Rezhikovic and Horzic. What great young players they are. The midfield trio is Dashka, Boskovic, please come back next year, mate, and Babic. And the front two are Prandzic and Tadic. So congratulations, guys. You've all had wonderful, wonderful seasons. And uh, let's hope some of you are back again next year. So the next award is the big one. It is the Golden Star for this season's Player of the Year. And uh, we had quite a few performers you know, through the year that were brilliant. Uh, there was probably one that did just about stand out above everybody else and consistently through the season as well. He's been up here many, many times already this evening, which reflects that. So congratulations goes to Jakob Prangic. Well done. Well done. Congratulations to Yakov and the other winner. There was only one of them, I think, tonight, wasn't there? Yakov, absolutely cleaning up, mate. Uh, it's been a really, really memorable first season at the club. Enjoyed every second of it. Next season, though, is going to be a big, big challenge for us. And we've got a big off-season coming up as well as we try and build a team to compete against some genuinely very big, talented clubs. So uh, thank you, everybody, who turned out in the auditorium tonight. Thank you for you watching at home. I look forward to seeing you all again next season at whatever our ground is called. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy your night. Thank you. Thank you very much. So there we go. End of season awards are done for the year. Let's have a quick recap of our wonderful, wonderful season. And uh, well, we can see here signing of the year was the young goalkeeper, Mandic. Uh, but let's have a look here. I mean, we didn't do any of these signings, so we don't get a grade. Boscovich was brilliant, wasn't he? Uh, so Mandic, I got a B minus four. And again, uh, we don't get apparently low knees. We don't get... We just don't get any uh, any reactions to these signings, so that's fine. Um, maybe that's just a season one thing. Let's hope that that <laughs> that was short and sweet, wasn't it? League, we got an A plus. We were absolutely brilliant in the league. Could not have been any happier with how it went. Cup, to be honest, wasn't terrible. Uh, maybe you know not being in the cup helped us win the league in the end. So that's all fine. Moments to remember: seven one against Drinsky. Now they've just been relegated, so that's a bit of a surprise, I think. Uh, the match to remember was uh, was the five three. That was first game, wasn't it, of the season against Sibinek. And goal of the season was Ibanez's uh, goal against. Uh, that team. Uh, it was a free kick, wasn't it? I remember it. Very, very good indeed. And we'll get the goal of the season, of course, in just a moment. Finances. Still a two-star reputation club. Uh, there's not too much to compare us to to last year, but no broadcast revenue, no competition prize money. Uh, let's hope 
perhaps that that changes when we get to the top flight. The team of the season, it was uh, more or less pick yourself. Mandic in the end with goalkeeper of the year, but everybody else there, I think, is, as I said, just about it picks itself, doesn't it? Maybe, maybe a goal could consider himself a little bit unlucky not to be one of the two strikers, but he was very much, if he scored, he was brilliant. If he didn't score, he was absolutely not part of the game. So, yeah, maybe he can't have too many complaints on that front. Uh, the accolades. Oh, the accolades. Let's have a quick look here. So, fans player of the year was Pranjic. Uh, young player of the year was Pranjic. Signing of the year, as we just saw, was uh, Mandic. Uh, goal of the season. We'll vote on that in just a second. Top goal scorer was Pranjic in the end. Most assists. Babic assists with 11, but with uh, less appearances. It went to Radjakovic. Uh, most man of the match awards. We don't give it out on the night, but Boscovich deserves something. So, uh, yeah, maybe we should have given it out to him. Highest average match rating was Pranjic, and most passes completed per 90 minutes. I've done away with it this year because it's a bit of a nothing award, isn't it? But it was uh, Perevich that uh, that did it. 57 passes per 90 minutes. We don't pass the ball much, do we? So the record breakers, we can see them all there. Um, a lot of this is, again, just down to first season and, and stats that aren't kept in the game. So, uh, yeah, it sort of sets a mark for everybody to chase now. And uh, most league appearances by a player, so Karamadic. That's uh, that's an actual uh, thing then, isn't it? Fastest goal we got was 2 minutes, 22 seconds. Uh, we got youngest goal scorer there as well in, uh, in Mikic, who has since left, and oldest in Tadic as well. Uh, still don't know if Tadic is coming back next year or not, but there we go. History in the making. Uh, very, very good season indeed. And a little bit here to uh, catch you up on our supporter profile update. Uh, we can see we've uh, lost family, gained fair weather fans, which is all fine. I've been trying to get us a senior affiliate, but... We haven't really had any luck on that front yet. Uh, club vision and expectations. Now, the goal next year is to attempt to avoid relegation. That usually means if you get relegated, you are not going to sack you. But obviously, there's ways to get relegated. And hopefully, we can uh, put up a very good fight. And uh, the new season team report, we can see there what the game thinks is going to be our best team. And um, I disagree with a lot of that. But... <laughs> We're going to hope that we can, uh, yeah, we can somehow find a way to get a team together that will compete in the top flight. That is, of course, for next episode, though. So uh, look forward to that one. I really do enjoy the, uh, especially the early on, the transfer specials. Uh, but before that, of course, we're going to have our goal of the season competition. If you are new to the channel, the way this will work, there's a compilation about to come up. Uh, there will be four nominees at the end of that. Whichever goal you think has been our goal of the season, there'll be a link at the top of the description down below. Click on that and I'll take you through to a straw poll and I'll announce our goal of the season hopefully episode one next season until then guys open on and thank you so much for watching take care Here are the top four goals from the 23-24 season. Don't forget to vote for your favourite.